Hello world, this is Hacker 7 and today I'm doing a tutorial on 7 ways to free up hard drive space. Now, this isn't deleting um, pictures or programs or anything on that line. We're only deleting temporary files and stuff that you really do not need. And um, that, should be re that should be cleaned, but most of the people don't. With uh, SSDs, solid, or solid slate drives being the in thing right now, we all know they don't come really big. On my computer currently, I do have a solid slate drive. And you can see it's a 223 gigabyte one. Um, but I also have my 2 terabyte hard drive. So, an external hard drive. But some people are running their system just on one solid slate drive. Or, you're on just a normal hard drive, and you've had the computer for years, and it's starting to fill up. You can see that it's in the red status now. I'll be showing you guys some ways to get out of that red status, delete, delete some files, and um, overall improve your computer. So the first way is to clean temporary files. This is using um, Windows built-in disk cleaner. Uh, a lot of people don't do this, but you really should uh, at least once a month. So the best way to do this is just open up your computer properties by going here and go computer. Right click on your C drive or whatever your Windows installation drive is. And then go to properties. And then go over here to disk cleanup. It's going to calculate how much uh, memory you can clean up. And you can see that I can free up about 176 megabytes. Now that isn't a lot when you think in overall. But for some people that haven't done this ever you might be able to free up like gigabytes. So to do this, um, again do the here, it's going to give you some suggestions which you should clean, uh, like recycle bin, all that stuff. Any of this you do not want to uh, clean, just uncheck it, but really you can delete all of it. Um, but just make sure nothing, nothing's in the recycle bin you need. Once you've selected everything you want, click the OK button, it's going to verify you want to delete them all, hit delete, and then it will rerun the scan, basically, or sorry, it'll clean it all. And there we go. Now, um, we do have some other options. So what we can do is go to disk cleanup again. And then we can go to the more options button here. And we can go clean up here. So basically what this is going to do is you can remove disk space by removing all but the most recent restore points. So what the restore point is going to do is you have restore points in the system and what you can do is you can delete them all but your last one. Now don't do this on the, if you use them all the time. If you don't, if you never use it, um, this is a decent idea because now you're going to free up for sure gigabytes. So you can go, now I don't even use the, that. Um, so the backup so I can't delete it because it's nothing to delete. But what you can do is you can clean up here and go hit delete. Alright, so our next one is going to be very simple, uninstalling software. So right from here you can go to uninstall or change the software. And you guys can see um, by going from size, if you click the size button, it will actually put the biggest software at the top and smallest at the bottom. Now you can go through and say, do I need this? So, at the top, I have Adobe Photoshop at almost 3 gigabytes. Now, do I need that? Yes. My next one is Adobe After Effects, all the Adobe software at the top. So, as I'm going down here, I'm going to look at stuff that I maybe do need and don't need. Now, I'm uh, very conscious when I'm installing in uninstalling software, so I don't have too much stuff, um, especially on this computer, that is useless. But for people who have gotten a computer from someone else, it's actually a good idea to uninstall software you don't need or never use. So this is an easy way of finding out what's really taking up space on your hard drive. The next one is using a software called Windarstat, which is this software right here. This will be available in the uh, down description below. And basically, after installing this program, you're going to open it up and you can select any all the individual drives or any drive you want. Click OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan it with this cool little Pac-Man symbol and tell us what's the heaviest folders. 
So this is similar to what, uh, what we just did, except what this is going to do is going to give us a cool little pictures, and also it's going to tell us not only programs but files. So you may have actually have let's let's say you might have downloaded Ubuntu, for example, but it's an old one. It, it's it's gigabytes big, but you never deleted it. Well, this program is going to tell you it's there still. So by clicking by clicking one of these big bubbles, we're going to find out what takes up the bit the most stuff. So this is a system file, this big blue button right here, and it's actually you know going in the properties, we can find out it is a looks like the hibernation file, which later in this video I'm actually going to show you guys how to get rid of this. But anyway. By going through here, you can actually play around and see what's the biggest files. Um, these big chunks right here, you guys can see, are my virtual machines. So I have Ubuntu here, Windows 8 there, Windows 8 there, Windows 8, Mac. These chunks over here are video files. Um, movies will also pop up here. Um, if you have a movie, you're for sure going to see them come up here. But the big one right here you're going to see is this page file one. So I will show you guys how to get rid of that at the end of the video, though. But anyway, using this program, though, you will find your biggest um, hoggers on your hard drive, what's taking up the most. Obviously, you're going to see that system files are going to probably take up a lot, but this is also going to tell you what programs and what actual individual files are hogging up your system. Our next one will be using... Um, C Cleaner. Now again, we're going to be cleaning temporary files. Now, but C Cleaner does a little bit differently. Not only does it clean temporary files, we'll be cleaning temporary files of like programs. So by having everything checked and clicking the Analyze button, we can go through and see that I have 72 megabytes C cleaned. Now it's not a lot again, but for some guys it's going to be gigabytes. So go ahead once you click that. Go ahead and click Run, Run Cleaner. Okay, and boom, you just clean some memory. Our next one, we find duplicate files. Now, a lot of people are surprised how many duplicate files they have, especially pictures. People have the same picture in five different locations. Well, this isn't a big deal, but when you got hundreds of photos and you got most hundred photos in that collection. 500 places, you now have 500 photos basically. So, using this program called Dupe Guru and using this to trial edition, we will actually build a file, find duplicates. So, what you can do is, um, oh, sorry, I have this one from last time. But going to the add button here, we can go add folder and we can just go to our pictures, we can click this folder. For example, I hit scan, and it's going to scan it, and you guys can see we have a couple different fonts that are duplicated, and what this actually means is these fonts I have installed in my system. So what it's saying is you have these fonts installed in your system and in that folder. So it's basically saying they're useless in the folder. So what I can do is I can collect them and, and delete them. Go over here and make my uh, action doing that way. So there are duplicates, 100% match. So now I can actually go to the location of these files or I can just manually delete them using the program. So our next tip is um, reducing the amount of space used by force system restore. Now, uh, most computers that are running Windows 7 come with System Store enabled and set to default configuration. System Restore is great, allows you basically go back in time on your computer and undo downloading that virus or undo downloading that program or anything like that. But System Restore can actually use a lot of memory. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to reduce the amount. So what it's going to do is it's going to basically not keep the collection of restores. So each restore is going to be a couple gigabytes. Now if you give it 5 gigabytes, it's going to probably keep 2 or 3 restores. It depends, always depends. But 
rough estimate. Now, if you give it more memory, it's going to keep more restores. Now, personally, I don't see the purpose of more restores because unless you restore, unless you want to restore a month behind, which I don't see any purpose of doing, I find it kind of useless. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, our stuff on here, go to computer, then click system properties. Go to system protection on the side. You must be an administrator to do this, by the way. And what we're going to do is you're going to see on and off protection wise. This means it's going to it's protecting my system drive, but not my external my second drive. So what you can do is go to solid slate drive, hit configure. And right now, current usage is 9.45 gigabytes. What I can do is I can drop it down to 4.7. For seven, all the way down to minimum, which is 2.23. Now, um, I'm going to drop it down, or I'm going to keep it the same actually that it was at. But what you guys can do is drop it to any percentage you want. You can give it a crazy amount, which is very uh, useless, but keep it under 6% at least. Um, you can go up around 3. I wouldn't go lower than 2 though. So anywhere from 2 to 4% is a great, I great. Um, area, and this should actually free up some gigabytes of memory. So, um, the nuclear options. I call these nuclear options because these are you're desperate, you need to free up space, or you're dead, basically. So, because we're already at this one, one of them is disable system restore. So, I hitting turn off system restore, you're going to for sure free gigabytes, like we're talking 6 gigabytes at least. Especially if you're at the three or four, the maybe the five percent, you could be you could be freeing up 14 gigabytes by just clicking turn off system protection and clicking the apply button. But it does give you the risk of possibly deleting or getting a virus, not being able to go back in time. So do these unless you're very desperate. Our second um our second option here is disabling hibernate mode. Hibernate mode uses a lot of memory. So to do basically what it does though is basically saves um, everything that's being used onto a file on your hard drive. So um, in order to check if it's on or not go into your start orb go to the thing here and it'll be here hibernate. I do have a desktop computer, so my, my default is not enabled. Now, if you have a laptop, 95% chance it is enabled because hibernate mode is a useful mode. But if you have to for sure delete it, to delete it, um, what you're going to do is go into our power options by clicking over here. Oh, I can't get to it. So, or you can type in power options here. And I, I do have the high performance. Again, I am using a desktop computer, so battery is not an option for me. So you can go here and you can uh, find the different stuff. So under sleep, we have hibernate after. So my setting is never, what you can change it is to zero. Zero will basically make it never. Uh, if you put it to five minutes, you basically choose what you want. By putting it to zero, it's going to completely disable it. And like I said, you're going to save lots of um, power. So, right, lots of memory. Another way to disable it is through the command prompt. And this is also how you can enable it. So if you go to run and put CMD and type in power CFG and then put backslash hibernate off that will disable it you want to re, re uh, turn back on again you can do the same thing except hibernate on anyways guys that's it for my seven tips on deleting or saving space in your hard drive again these three programs will be available I will upload them as one file and you can download them all as one file all the, all the install files but anyways, guys, that's about for this video. Um, feel free to give this video a like. 
and subscribe for some more awesome Windows 7 theme reviews and tutorials. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.